So you think that you can't make it through, and you feel like all is gone. Just.
waited patiently. Oh, he inquired unto me. He heard my cry. He brought me up out of a horrible pit and out of the miry clay. Set my feet upon the rock.
seated. Let's give God praise in this house today. Praising him for the life of Cornelius Bernard Valley. Amen. The Bible teaches us that in all things we should give thanks. For it is the will of God in Christ concerning us. So we're thankful today. We're thankful today. We are thankful today. Amen. If you feel a sense of hurt, or emptiness is because love was there. But love never died. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 teaches us that love abides. It says, now abide it. Faith, hope, and love. These three. But the greatest of these is love. Love abides. The object of love may be missing. But love itself Abide. You don't have to stop loving just because the object of your love is not there. You keep on loving. Amen. Amen. We are here today to memorialize the life of this our brother and to minister to this family. We want them to feel better when they leave than they were when they came. Yeah. Amen. We want them to leave this service ready to put life back together and move on. So we are going, the family has provided us a private program uh, and we're going to follow that program and uh, I'll be back after the solo but uh, we're going to follow this program as it is printed. Let's pray for this family. Let's pray for this family. God is able right now. Uh, uh, I got a weak witness right there. I say God is able right now. He's right now able. And, and we are praying that he will speak peace this family, that he will meet each one at the point of their need, and speak peace to this family, to the, these parents, these siblings, and all who are related by love. Let us follow this program as it is present.
scripture.
sending our condolences to you and your family through this difficult time. We're keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. We love you. From your friends and 2025 Aryan cohort. Thinking of you during your time of sorrow, Johnny Spencer, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. In loving memory of Cornelius Bernard Bowden, in loving memory of a wonderful person who will be loved and missed always, Reverend and Miss Zachariah Watkins. Deeply sympathy, Donald Rayford. We, the family, will wish to extend our sincerest gratitude and appreciation for the many kind expressions of love and support during our time of bereavement. Pray for us. Amen. 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 I want the family to know today that uh, the family of God is here. And we're here to help lift you. I want all of the preachers of the gospel that are here today to stand. I just want the family to see the preachers of the gospel that are here. Won't you stand? Won't you stand all over the building? Come on, let's give them a hand, y'all. together. They spent their free time together in 
Nia's never complained that that extra kid was always there. He loved, he loved his best friend. He was a wonderful student. Never had to worry about grades or anything because he always kept up. I have a poem for the needs today. It's called Weep Not For Me. Weep not for me, though I have gone into that dull night. Grieve, if you will, but not for long, upon my soul's sweet flight. I am at peace. My soul's at rest. There is no need for tears. For with your love, I was so blessed for all those many years. There is no pain. I suffer not. The fear is now all gone. Put now these things out of your thoughts. In your memory, I live on. Remember not my fight for breath. Remember not the strife. Please do not dwell upon my death, but celebrate my life. Celebrate. We love you, Backyard. 
Well, you know, I wait. We going going to work back and forth, but uh, children will bring any situation together in the neighborhood. As I go on, I just want to tell this Bernard. In my, I know you don't mind, and it's it's not bragging, but Reverend Bowden and Miss Bowden took care of their children. They stayed in their yard. I had the basketball go, they'd come over and mix and mingle, but they knew when it was time to go home. <laughs> Bowden made sure that his children had dinner. I made sure my children had dinner. He was always cooking. So one day I was getting ready to go to work. This truck pulled up in front of my door. The driver would ring the doorbell and said, I have delivery for you. I said, no, you don't have delivery for me because I didn't order anything. <laughs> Before Walmart was delivering groceries, Reverend Bowden and Miss Bowden, their family were already see, receiving the delivery from Swans. Swans delivery. Their groceries were delivered to the house back in the 80s, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all that because you could see the love. Myra was always in view when the children were out playing. I was always in view. We were the back door neighbors, and our fences come together to this day. We've enjoyed living in the neighborhood with the Bowdens, even though they moved away. They made sure that the person that they rented the house to was kosher, okay? <laughs> and if I welcomed them to the neighborhood, Rick Bowden had already done the interview. <laughs> but Myra and Reuben Bobby, I just want you all to know that Carl and I are going to be there. And whatever you do, remember what a friend you have in Jesus. Amen. Let's get a lot of hand praise right now. On the front of it, look at the front of it. Look at the very front of that obituary. What does it say up there in that left hand corner? Celebration. Celebration. Yeah. Let's celebrate. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Let's give them all a half praise right now. I know, I, know, I, know, I know right now is a sad time, but we need to be thankful oh even at a time like this. Yeah. God is still God. Yeah. God is still God, and He's able. Yeah. He's able. Yeah. If, he, if He took you to it, He'll bring you through it. Yeah. Let, let's, let's celebrate yeah. the life of Brother Cornelius Bow. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sit in here oh like you have a funeral. Oh, okay? Oh, we have a celebration. Yeah. 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 We have a celebration. Real Bowden, Sister Bowden, all the Bowden family, all of y'all, look at that whole side over there. That's all about. Yeah. Now they want me to speak as Cornelius as a church member. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna tell you now, they were in Nashville, so they, they didn't make the church every Sunday. But I can tell you this one thing about Cornelius, he shot straight from the hill. Mm -hmm. He shot straight from the hill. You know what I'm saying? It, it was no pretension. That's right. No pretension in him. Either he liked you, or he did. Either he liked you, or he did. And you know, it was, it was such a joy for me to talk to him. You know, because either he liked you, or he did. And he didn't, he didn't cut no corners. He didn't cut no corners. He, oh, that was that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he was straightforward. Uh, yeah. You know, he was straightforward, but he was funny. He, he, he could make you laugh when it wasn't that funny. You know what I'm saying? And, and as a church member, he, when he came, he was in the service. He, he wasn't just at the service. He was in the service. You know what I mean? So um, as a church member, um, I can say that uh, the Bowden family, real Bowden, all his brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, 
because it's all you have to do to be proud. You should be proud. You know what I mean? Because I, um, in my heart, I believe that that not only did he know God, but I think God knew him. Amen. Okay, that's that's what that's what we all strive for. You know that not only do do we know God, but God knows us. Amen. So family, take confidence in knowing that that He's done something each and every one of us has got to do. We got to do. We can't avoid. It. We can't avoid. It. But rest in confidence knowing that He had a relationship with God. Amen. I love y'all. And y'all already know that. Yes, Lee, and I agree with you. We have a celebration. Amen. The program now calls for as a sibling and a family member. Amen. All right, y'all, come on. Now, all of y'all came to talk. Because there's a lot of y'all. I think they got designated the ones that are going to. Yeah. Pray for them as they come. Amen. Amen. He was not just a brother to us. He was a shining example of what it means to be a truly remarkable human being. <clears throat> Kines was one of a kind. He had a heart of gold and a spirit that could light up and burn. As our brother, he was always there for us, offering guidance, support, unwavering love. He was a source of strength, comfort during the darkest times, and a source of joy and laughter during the happiest moments. Kines was a special person in a very, in, in every sense of the word. His kindness, compassion, and generosity knew no bounds. He touched the lives of everyone he met, leaving a lasting impression of warmth and love. His absence leaves a void that cannot be filled, and he will be truly missed by all and whoever had the privilege of knowing him. <sighs> Let us remember the incredible impact he had on our lives. Let us carry on his legacy of love and kindness. Let his memory be a guided light in our hearts forever. Kines, you are a truly exceptional individual, and your presence in our lives was a gift beyond measure. Rest easy, dear brother. You will always hold a special place in our hearts and forever with you. Come on, let's give them a hand.
the family is all we got. Yeah. 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 Y'all, y'all ain't said nothing. Uh, <laughs> family is all we got. That's a word from the Lord. That's a word from the Lord. All right. That's a word from the Lord. I don't see enough, enough smile. All right, all right. All right. Let me call your attention to the book of Job. (laughs) Job chapter 14. And just that first verse. Man that is born Mm -hmm. of a woman. And man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. I want to talk about a trouble-free place. A trouble-free place. A trouble-free place. A a trouble-free thought. That God has prepared for us. Cornelius called me up. UNC. And when Cornelius said unk, you could feel the love. It wasn't just an unk unk, but it was an unk unk unk. All right, sir. So what happened in unk? Just feel his his passion for his uncle. Cornelius was one who chased after the hearts of everybody he loved. He chased after his family members, his friends. He called called everybody in. And just about everybody in the family on speed died. <laughs> Call you 2 a.m. in the morning. That's what it is. <laughs> he kept up with everybody. All right. Aunts, uncles, cousins. He he was that 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 family guy. All right. And uh, he, he he loved to work toward unifying the family. Cornelius was an an atmospheric observation guy. He he loved meteorology. He could tell you about the cumulus clouds, stratus clouds. He he was the family uh, storm alert. Y'all know that storm coming. Observe the barometric pressure. <laughs> got, got a low pressure coming in. I'll, I'll get ready. <laughs> he, he, he would, uh, if he had chosen another career path, he, he would be a storm chaser. <laughs> Not only that, but Cornelius chased after God. All right. well, and, and found him one day yeah. in the free pardon of his sin through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and our Savior. All right. The text says, the text says, man that is born of a woman is of a few days. I told you, there's two things in this text. Talk about them. Talk about them. A few days. And full of trouble. Y'all saw it. Life is short. I said life is short. And we need to be careful that we redeem the time that the Lord has given us. We we need to watch how we live. Because we know not the daytime or the hour when we would have to leave out of here. Life is filled with swift transitions. And, and there is this 
brevity of life yeah, yeah, yeah. that we experience. Life is only temporary. It's temporary. Amen. These, these old bodies, uh -huh. Paul says, shall soon be dissolved. Yeah. Well, but we have another building. Help me somebody. A building not made by him. I need to hear a little bit more from these preachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Life is a troublesome territory. All right, preacher. Awesome. The book says it's full of trouble. Full of trouble. Full of trouble. Full of trouble. A whole lot of trouble. Yeah. Trouble here, trouble there, trouble everywhere. Trouble on everything. Yeah. When you get through coming out of one trouble, <laughs> get ready to go into another order of trouble. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. Did anybody in here ever been in trouble? Yeah. If you live it, if you're alive, uh -huh. you in some tough kind of trouble right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Say you believe in God? Believe also in me. I'm about to get happy. He, he said, because in my father's house, there are many mansions. And I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am, there you may be also. Thank God for Jesus. He has a trouble-free place for us. Yeah. And I want to tell the church, I want to tell everybody in here, the only thing that really matters uh, is whether or not you know Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The only thing, the money in your bank account, it doesn't matter. No matter. No matter. The square footage of your house, it doesn't matter. No matter. Hello, somebody. Yeah. The kind of rims you got on your car. <laughs> It doesn't matter. You see, the only thing that matters is whether you know Jesus in the free pardon of his of our sin. Have I witnessed? Do you know Jesus? Have, have you tried the man? Because Jesus is the one that died on Calvary. Didn't say they had to roll her the third day morning that we might have the right to the tree of life. <laughs> let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I tell the story as I close about when me and Nard and, and others there in Bessel and Jones, where we went to college school. And uh, the preachers, a boy bullied me. <laughs> Ran me home from school day after day. Yeah. From and that boy was good about it. He didn't throw rocks, he chunked rocks. <laughs> and Cam, he was able to make those rocks spin. And then those rocks would, would leap from side to side. And, and in running from him, I had to run zigzag. <laughs> trying to get home. Uh, then one day, couldn't I got my bucket full. Uh, I got tired of the bucket. Uh, I told Nard about it. Yeah. And we caught up with him when he didn't have no rocks. <laughs> and I hit him high. I knew when I got on the park 
and come up on mama's front porch. And I witnessed him. And then I knew when I got inside the house, I was in a safe place. That's what Cornelius did. He got in the yard, got up on the front porch of mama, and got in the house where Jesus loved him.
Bible says man born of a woman is of a few days. Amen. And it was appointed unto man to die. After this, the judgment. You need to know the Lord as Savior and the Lord of your life. Amen. Just for a moment, every head bowed. Just for a moment, every head bowed. Lord, I pray today that this room is filled with believers. But, oh God, if there be one that is not a believer, I pray the conviction of your Holy Spirit not to let them rest until they come to confess you as Lord and Savior. Oh God, let them do it before it's everlasting too late. There are so many men and women of God in this room that will be anxious to hear their confession and they can leave here saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, well.